That's Our Word, brought to you by Bitcot and Feedphone. And uh, we're also brought to you by Kraken Kratom. You got Bitcoin, you want Kratom, get Kraken. <laughs> I just thought that up. I'm so smart. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, they're they're really great. Like I just got a a, a batch t- t- today because I was actually promoting like another company just kind of offhand, and then I tried this company and I was like, oh wow, that stuff really sucked. This stuff is so much better. Um, you can go over there, go over here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You can go over there and help support the show by going to kratom.lawberts.com and that'll that'll use our uh, referral fee. And if you don't want kratom and you want something else. There's always shop.lowbirds.com, which is our Amazon affiliate link. And, of course, it doesn't cost you any money to do it. And we're here with Jeremy Heisen. Hi, 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 I don't know how to say your name, man. I'll let you say it. <laughs> I never can do there's, this. There's so many variations. Well, because you get thrown off when you start with the Heisen, because that's not actually yeah. in my name. Uh, my, my, la- my last name is actually Hengler, but I've okay. taken to Heisen Kitten, I think, is my favorite one of all the names we've come up with. So that's usually the one I use when people ask me. Heisenberg. So, Heisen, but, I, yeah, that too. I just got to the point where I was like Heisen N word. Then when it comes time to actually say your name, I'm like, I know it. There's no Z in it. It's just, and then I'm like, I, I ah, damn it, I lost it. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, and you're with the Seeds of Liberty podcast, which is awesome. I was listening to that the other day, and which is kind of be what I'm gonna be. We're gonna be talking about uh, today, and the reason why I didn't p- promote uh, hobo sib- hobo 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 symbols uh, dot com yet. And uh, freedom bread and breakfast because you're going to be talking about it because <laughs> you guess you're part yes. of the program. So um, yeah, so I, I just thought it was just going to be like an app, just like Airbnb. You go and you pay the money, and then you know they get they get the cut and they send it out to the people who are hosting uh, travelers or whatever. But I was way wrong. I did not realize how how much, how different this is going to be. So what is freedom B and B, and what can I? What and why should I care? <laughs> well, it's 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 planning to be a, a lot of things, but at, at, for right now, the goal is to get the site and the app up and running, which would work something like Airbnb. But the the way Ben described it the other day, which I, I thought was really perfect, is like Airbnb is a middle. You know, Airbnb is essentially a middleman. Yeah. And with F- Freedom B and B, the goal is not to be the middleman. It's just to be the. Um, you know that just the 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 conduit essentially, because there you know with Airbnb you keep there's records kept uh, you know of who who went where and who 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 got hooked up with who. We don't want any of that. Yeah. All we want to do all 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 Freedom B B and B wants to be is a place where hosts and travelers can find each other. And the you know the money the money that 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 we're going to get out of this is that just you know there's a fee for you know f- there, we're still working out the numbers and all that stuff but okay. there's a flat there's going to be a, a flat fee uh, for monthly you know for travelers uh, or for or and uh, you know another fee for hosts and you know there's going to be deals like you know if you buy a year in advance and stuff like that and you know basically like I said it, it, the goal is just to be able to let people connect with each other without a paper trail yeah and. <laughs> Yeah, and so, like, basically, people can go. They pay for a subscription to the service, or if they're just going to be like, "Oh, I'm going to be traveling for one month. I just want to buy one month." Right? They can do that. Yes, exactly. And yes. They, okay, so you they can hop stop and on come there. As, as often as you want. Yeah, you can hop on. Uh, there's good. You know, you'll. Uh, there'll be, you know, you go to the area where you're looking for, you know, where you're going to looking to be staying, and then you search to see if there's people in that in the area that are offering their homes or their yards or whatever it is. Because, uh, you know, we were talking with Ben about this the other night kind of expanded from, you know, you think of B&B, most people think of like staying in a house or something like that. But, you know, with something like this type of service, even if somebody had, say, a slab out in their yard, if they had like a farm or something, and they already had a slab with some power, you know, rent it out to people who have their have, are driving around with their campers and stuff like that. You know, you know, take it, take it one step further. You can rent it. If you have a big plot of land and something like that, you rent it out to people who want to have a little festival or something. Yeah. It's great. Uh, but, and you know, so, but yeah, it's really just about connecting people. And then it's also supposed you know, as free as possible. So we are, want to encourage people to use whatever form of money or currency they choose to, that they, they can agree on to, 
you know, to to strike up the deal. It doesn't, have, you know, we don't want it to be restricted to dollars or even Bitcoin, uh, you know, just anything and everything. So now uh, Roberts and Roberts has gotten involved. Tim Frey. Yeah, right, this is the part name, right? I Frey. really found interesting. <laughs> Was the yes? Okay, go well, ahead. Well, yes. Well, Ro Roberts and Roberts Brokerage is is going to be joining forces with freedom b and b that's the plan right now and they are going to be a middleman of sorts but what they're going to be is they're going to be the uh which we'll call it the place for people to exchange their currencies if you know you're a host and the traveler it, the traveler deals in bitcoins but you don't well then the traveler can go through that you know th go through them and exchange and and get whatever they need to do uh vice versa for silver gold anything you know what, whatever they offer currently for exchanges and stuff like that that's what they're going to do and th i think the idea right now is to hopefully have some connection between an uh, between apps that you can easily access you know you can easily get sent to the roberts and roberts app for this uh that will be connected to freedom bnb &B. and again free you know the people at freedom bnb &B, we have nothing to do with this we're just there for for you yeah. for people to be able to make use of the service and that the, the deal between you and the host uh, or you and the traveler you know depending which situation you're in and roberts and roberts that's all between you guys that we have nothing to do with that either uh yeah. they're just I, I, you know we're partnering they don't even know what the transfer is for. They just know that so-and-so nope. wants to send money to so-and-so, and that's it. Yep. Or silver that's, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That's that's basically, you know, again, as, as, as little as a paper trail as possible, which is, you know, the goal, because we're trying to promote this for libertarians and anarchists and just people in general who actually who value security and, and are a little more careful with just throwing their name out there on some app <laughs> and throwing their information and saying, Hey, I'd like to go. I, I, can I say at your place? Here's all my information, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, Airbnb seems like it's going to have its own market, but this is going to be a little bit different. And uh, even if it was different, it's all really about execution in the end, right? It's not, I mean, ideas are, you know, the, Uber was already a thing before Uber. It was called like what? Ta ma uh, taxi magic or something like that. Yeah, I think it was called taxi uh, magic. I and it I was think so. yeah, it was a disaster <laughs> on every <laughs> level. It would you know you need people to execute, and uh, you know you're on board, right? I think you're the mm -hmm. you're the guy that like every time they bring up an idea, you're the one that goes like, okay, let me see everything that's wrong with that. You're like the professional yeah. cynic. <laughs> yeah, that's, okay. yeah, and and I just I kind of got brought into that role, which I'm fine with. I like to I like to annoy people and pester people, and and poking holes in things has always been fun for me, anyway. So yeah. that's kind of what I do, and I and I take it from more because you know there's there's people in here that are involved that have a lot of you know some of these guys have a lot of experience in this stuff and like in the tech world and stuff, and I'm like you know more like the average idiot who can look at it from the layman's perspective and go, well, I, you guys can think about all these things and these wonderful theories, and it makes sense to us. But I'm thinking from the idiot's level who's going, well, I want it to be simple and I don't want to have to deal with this stuff. And I want, you know, yeah. so, yeah, I just I, I, poke, I shoot I shoot holes and poke idea. I poke, I, I poke holes and ideas and also promote like promotion is also something I'm supposed to be doing, too, because I'm actually running the Facebook page uh, for the for the for the app. And, you know, we're really just trying to get the word out there and, and get people to hopefully finally do donate more to the Indiegogo campaign. Yeah, uh, that's the that's the big push right now. Yep, and you can go straight over to that. What was it? I think I had freedombed.lowberts.com. I made like a little subdomain for it, um, so I could say it easily because I didn't want to go indiegogo.com slash. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to say all that stuff. So, um, but yeah, I, 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 I don't even think of that. I just I just send people to the page, which okay. is still hobo hobosimples.com is still is still the page. Although there's now multiple redirects because there was attempts to change the name after the fact, but we already had hobo symbols. So I think freedom freedom bed n like the letter n breakfast is is now dot uh, com is now also the site. And there's another one we picked up today too. I can't remember what it was. Another freedom type thing, but you know, yeah, snag what, them all. And one of the things that I was. Um... Because I had I'd said it for like two shows, like Hobo Symbols. Like, well, that's a weird name. Why would they say Hobo Symbols? And then Nick kind of mentioned something. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I get it now. So Hobo Symbols are kind of like this code that hobos had. I don't know if they still have it. But they what they would do is they would make little symbols and say like, okay, so the, this house. They would mark like a little drawing on there and say that this, this symbol means that 
this this house has a very nasty dog and it will bite you or this lady is really mean stay away or this person will hurt you stay away or this person's really nice she'll give you a place to stay and they have like all these kind of symbols so yep. that's kind of like an electronic version of this with a subscriber fee, I guess. Uh, <laughs> but it's yeah. a little bit more direct, and that way you don't have to go searching for all those symbols. They're right there on your phone, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it is. And we actually, for a while, that was actually the, the, the cover photo for the Facebook page. And I think the Twitter page, too. There was just, it was just a whole list of all the hobo symbols. Because, yeah, that's what they would do. They would just want, when they got off the train, they would, you know, they would check, they would check the sign, you know, fence posts, uh, you know, stuff like that. Because people, or, you know, certain areas they knew to look where people would scratch things in. And, uh, yeah, that's how they got around. And I, as far as I know, it's still the... It's still used, although there aren't as many, you know, rail hopping hobos as yeah. there used to be. So they're really going to I think they saw some uh, some video where they were like, oh, there's a hobo convention. We're going to go there. And the way they were going to get there was by train hopping and it didn't last very long. Uh, they ended up getting one ride for a little bit and then they were end up uh, they got kicked off. And then when they finally when they got there, it was just like a big kind of like fake festival. It had turned into like. You know, like a more like a local town event where they make chili cook-offs and you know do a parade. <laughs> and, you know, actual hobos weren't even, weren't even there, uh, <laughs> so that was that was kind of funny. But uh, well, that's like that's like all festivals. You know, eventually they run their course, mm. and you know, like Pork Fest, and at, at the end, there's not even libertarians there anymore. Wow, I mean, shots, look what happened. Shots fired. <laughs> Hey, I don't care, man. I'm not going back. I'm going to the Midwest Peace Celebrity Fest this year. It's being hosted at the same time, and it's almost as long as this year because they're they're cutting they're cutting the days off of Pork Fest that's been so unpopular. Yeah, I just I just don't know if I can uh, make it out to Midwest. Like, it, it's something I really want to do, and if I stumble across some some extra money to do it, I would. But you know, I'm probably just going to stick to Jack. F You're not going to Jack Fest this year, are you? This year, I'm probably not going to get to make it wah, because. Wah, wah. Yeah, I can't take vacations that close together with my business, and I'm I'm still working on getting out of my business, but I don't think it's going to happen this year. So, oh, okay, I have to make have to make the clients happy for one more year. So, yeah. So, uh, but anyways, yeah. Like, so this is a lot different than Airbnb. Uh, in a lot of ways, it's not so it's not centralized, and there's already kind of a market for this thing already. There's just no app for it because. I was listening to Ben talk about like these these left anarchists, you know, these commies or whatever. Uh, they already kind of do something similar, but it's all kind of like word of mouth or you know, look for websites when you need something and hope hope to God something works. But they have like little little homesteads or whatever they call they call them, and they just let people stay there for free. But they can still pay for that service and have access to all that information and find all that stuff and still still stay with each other for free. Um, I wouldn't be interested in staying there, but yeah, you can go ahead and do that. I mean, so that, <laughs> there's already a kind of a, something that's needed in that, in that little area, you know, it's, it's not going to be aimed towards those people. I'm sure they, you know, they're going to do some marketing for that, but it's going to be more for, you know, me who want, who wants to make it out to Midwest Liberty conference and wants to stay, uh, stop along the way and have a house to stay at and maybe some breakfast. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, because I mean, I, I, there, I mean, there are. I mean, I've, I've even seen Facebook, Facebook groups like that that are that are specifically set up for, uh, you know, for it was ride sharing first before Uber became bigger, and this and with B and Bs too. I've seen, you know, Boo. yeah, but yeah, but I've yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> but but, I've, but I, I've seen it with like the B and B type stuff or the or offering. We have this, you know, we have like a, a huge place that will let people stay in type of deal. So yeah, there there is like you're right, there is the market already. And the other thing you were saying before about how even if it was more similar to Airbnb, it doesn't matter if you're a better if you're a better product. That you know, yeah. competitions. That's what that's what it's all about. And right away, the the higher level of privacy, I think, should you know, should automatically kind of put Freedom B and B out in front. You know, gives yeah. it, it gives it an edge where because there are more people. Like I said earlier, there are more people, not just anarchists or libertarians or people like that. There are other people. You know, even the the new you know the uh, the normies that that uh, are worried about security these days. You Sovereign know, because there are too, yeah, <laughs> yeah, all all, all of them, all those. <laughs> those, those knuckle those knuckleheads i know way too many of them personally i, I hung out with them for a while they're an interesting mm -hmm. bunch <laughs> i almost i almost started going down that route i was a big fan of that um 
Oh, what was that movie? Uh, um, America, Freedom to Fascism. And then you go and start looking through all that stuff, and you're like, oh, wow, there is so much wrong with that movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> virtually all of the quotes were fake. All of them. <laughs> like, either faked or really? misquoted, taken out of context. All, almost all of them were. There was a couple of them, but not really. Like, even the Woodrow Wilson one that was like supposed to be like – like this is the oh, proof, that, yeah. <laughs> oh, the, the, yeah, that one. I've, I try to tell people that one still gets thrown around yeah. to, to, to this day. I, I keep trying to tell people, like people are so like, he said it. I'm like, he was a horrible, horrible man. You think he really repented and said all this no. stuff after the fact? No, 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 no. That no, that was no, like, no. well, I think the story. I think the story on that one is was taken from like multiple speeches yeah. of his <laughs> and combined together, and had absolutely none of those. None of them had anything to do with what he ended up talking about in that quote. Yeah, was, it's, uh, it's amazing how how much the the founding fathers get get misquoted. In fact, if you go to the Monticello's website, there's like a oh, list yes. of like all the Thomas Jefferson quotes, and it goes through and it tries to find the original quotation because they have all the letters. They have copies of yep. all the letters, all the books, all of his writings, all of them, and they'll go back and find it. <laughs> Transcripts of speeches, everything. And yeah, they they do a good job. It's like most of them are fake. Most of the things that Thomas Jefferson said didn't say. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That, that that happens all the time, though, because it's it's even even as well, the you know, the, the, the double edged sword of the Internet is that people have all this information at their fingertips and you can find all this stuff out. But everybody also has an equal opportunity to add a bunch of crap to the Internet. Yeah. <laughs> that you can find out. And, you know, whether it's something crazy like the it was it the Mandela effect. Uh, the latest one I keep seeing over and over and over again was that that supposed movie about Shazam with Sinbad from the I, 80s. I never remembered the, that. I never thought that was an actually a thing. I never thought that was a, a thing ever. That's when I was like, people think yeah, that, that's know. a thing? Now, the Bernstein yeah, but, Bears, the Bernstein Bears, that, that, that freaked me out for a little bit. Because <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. There were the Bernstein Bears. I don't do not remember. I, I was pretty sure it was Bernstein Bears, and I think I even remember being in kindergarten and reading it out. Bernstein, Bernstein. Mm. Yeah, I yeah that that one actually did that. That was one of the ones that threw me too because the same thing. I remember them, I mean, my, and my kids have them now. But I remember those, and I could have swore I was like, really? No, <laughs> I can like I can I can picture it because for for a good portion of my life, I I had a. a, a I had a photographic memory and I'm like, I can visualize the book. No, you're, you're wrong. And I guess I was wrong. So. <laughs> but yeah, I was watching. Yeah, a, so. I didn't, I didn't notice that until I saw, um, there was an episode of the, uh, angry video game nerd or, or yeah, you know, cinema massacre of that guy. Um, yes, he, he did a one where he was going through all the Bernstein bears, <laughs> video games and he was like huh they misspelled the Bernstein Bears <laughs> and he started looking back and like how come they're all misspelled <laughs> uh, 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 wow like, oh my god there's an alternative <laughs> reality <laughs> that's funny yeah. um, so I, I think we pretty much wrapped up hobo, hobo symbols I think was there anything else that was now they, I think they were looking for what 22 grand is that completely no, like if they don't it's make a, that goal, is it still going to happen? Or uh, I believe so. It still can okay. uh, because mo, mo, I mean, most of the people working right now are all, all everybody involved is doing this for free. Okay. And you know, e even the people that are that have been, I mean, there has been not only people that we've reached out to to ask for assistance in certain in certain aspects with like you know promotional stuff and 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 stuff like that. Uh, but other people have come to come to us and offered. <laughs> they have seen the project and, and loved the idea and have come to us and offered it. Everybody's pretty much on the same page. It's like, hey, we're, it's not about the money right now. I mean, if this thing takes off and we all and we make some money off this, great, yeah. all right, you know. But for now, it's kind of like almost like a labor of love. But it, I, I think at the twenty-two thousand is a flexible goal, and that was, you know more hopeful that you know some you know all of us could get a little you know get a little something something off the bat you know to start off with but if we can't get that then what I, you know that's not, not i mean i don't care if i don't see anything off of this yeah i'm just i'm i'm having fun and i, I love the idea and i'm i'm really you yeah, know I'm, having fun I'm, ex I'm excited staff. about it <laughs> yes <laughs> okay you're the oh, professional yes. troll of the staff which per perfe um, perfect you know maybe yeah. maybe more more maybe more so you know one one or two particular people than others but you know 
Yeah. Yeah. Whoever gives, whoever gives me the ammo. Yeah, because <laughs> my initial reaction when I first heard about this, I was like, that's kind of interesting, you know, that you're targeting a, a niche market. But, like, what's really the incentive for me to use this over, you know, Airbnb, which is already established. It already has a group of people who already have their houses. But, you know, if I if I can pay in gold and silver, if I can pay in Bitcoin and, and there's no trace of it, okay. I, I understand. If you, can bar, if you can bar, if you can barter, whatever, yeah. you know, whatever it is, you know, or all these be, things. <laughs> or I could just be an yeah. income and just just leech off of other people. Uh, that's great too. <laughs> I know they were also talking Kinda about like, like renting out farmland, like letting people, f like. Yeah, well, that that's we kind of we started spit. Well, that we, we started spitballing that on the on the seeds of liberty. Mm -hmm. uh, Dave actually threw that one out there, and for, for both both Ben and I misunderstood him at first. Both of both of us thought farmland. Oh yeah, extra land. Sure, you can rent it out for like maybe small festivals or just a you know a, a bunch of friends want to camp together and they all have their you know they all have their campers and stuff like that. And he's like, no, 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 literally renting out your farmland. Like the <laughs> the way the the way the code is being set up. The the guy Dan Sullivan who's doing the the bulk of the coding right now, um, and Derek Slopey is also help, helping out as well with some of the, with a lot of the stuff um but i think dan's doing the bulk of it right now and he's all about expanding this into like things like a basically a social network like he's talking about like a dating a dating app you know a sh offshoot of this and stuff like this so he's got all these ideas but he wants to he's he's building the code so it's open to be able to do a bunch of a bunch of different things so yeah that's why we were spitballing the other night and you know if you have if you have extra land to rent out for whatever purpose you know this is just another way for you to connect with people and if you're somebody who's trying to do this because you're trying to make a little extra money and you may not necessarily want to have extra eyes on you, you know, why not use this service when, you know, that offers you a little bit more protection that in that area? <laughs> That's interesting. By the way, what are you guys doing besides hopping on my podcast? Well, actually, you're not hopping on my podcast. This is our podcast. You're a co-host. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, I'm, I'm technically I'm here. <laughs> But I'm kind of using you as kind of like a conduit, right? So I don't have to waste Ben Stone's time because he's already been doing all sorts of other well, stuff. Well, well, Ben, be, I'm sure Ben would be more than happy to come on and talk to oh, you. Oh, I know he would. <laughs> I know, I know he would. I probably would have to have him on. But if I'm going to have yeah. him on, I want to. I want him to talk about other things other than this. He oh, can of course, pivot. Yeah. yeah. It's like, <laughs> you know, it's like you have, you know, you have a. a a world class basketball player and you know <laughs> you know and what are you gonna have him do? Sit there and talk about philosophy? No, 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 no. I wanna yeah. see him play basketball, okay. No, I, I believe me, I know. It was it was hard for me to keep him on point the other night. I did like I just stopped Dave a couple of times because he started drifting and I'm like, No, no, we need to because this we actually have a purpose tonight. We need to stay on point and we need to get as much information about out about this as we can. So Yeah. So I guess that's so an I, open I invitation that. if Ben wants to hop on. Uh, I'm down to do a show with him. Um so yeah, uh this seems like really interesting and I, I and I'm not just saying because at first I was kinda like uh, okay, whatever. But it wasn't until I heard him on um, uh, Declare Your Independence Ernie with, er show? with Ernie yeah. Hancock, and he was on there talking about all sorts of things, and we're talking Bitcoin and, and the silver, and the you know, sitting back and blah blah blah. And I'm like, okay, and the, you know they're sitting there wondering and talking, like, oh, I don't know. I love doing that Ernie impressions, anyways. <laughs> um. Yeah, it was really like okay, so this is actually something different. I'm, I'm, now I'm genuinely interested. <laughs> so, yeah, so yeah, uh, hobo symbols. That seems so. Hobo symbols dot com. That's where people can find yes. out more information. I hope that's going to be a success. Unlike Trump Care, <laughs> this is been, oh, I've been I've been just enjoying this. This is the best thing ever. <laughs> Watching this Trump Care thing fail, and thank God. I don't know about thank God. I don't. I think maybe the death spiral would probably be even worse if Trump Care got. Uh, it, it, oh man, this whole thing is terrible. But I mean, I, I wouldn't have to pay the individual mandate if I didn't if I dropped my health care. But now was that was that actually was gonna, the case? Was that actually the case? Because was that the case? Because I kept hearing conflicting reports about that. That even if it had gone in, there's somehow the mandate still would have applied. <laughs> or was I was that um, was I wrong about that? I, I I I heard that that part was it, but everything else was still in it which would just make the death spiral even worse the other thing was um you know trump was always talking about like oh we're going to get rid of the lines the, the lines 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 and get rid of all the official lines that wasn't even in the bill 
Um, it was just basically just kind of stripping away some of the things that he didn't like about Obamacare and then keeping everything else. And 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 the group that he's attacking right now is like the freedom, the House Freedom Caucus, which is like kind of like the more libertarian leaning people now are like now the enemies, which all they're doing, <laughs> all they're doing was keeping all the campaign promises that all of the candidates, including Trump, said they were going to do. Yeah. <laughs> and now he's mad at him, like, how dare you make me keep my campaign promises? I'm just, I'm just so glad that this whole thing is just becoming a giant train wreck, and it just kind of goes to show, like, like these all these libertarians who thought, like, oh, this guy is going to bring liberty because he's going to be spreading these ideals, and you're sh- sure he's probably better than Hillary, but that's about it. <laughs> like, there's this goes to show you that if you're going to vote for a Republican. Well, this one, this one in particular, <laughs> if you're going to vote for a Republican, <laughs> you know, it's not going to fix much. You know, they're not even going to get rid of oh. Obamacare. He's even moving away from, he's like, we're going to get rid of, we're not going to bother with health care now. We're going to move on to tax reform, which <laughs> sounds just as promising. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it, for, I, I, I'm loving it too, because it's, it's some early vindication for me because yeah. I was saying, I was saying this all, like I started saying this. Shortly after I was sure that Trump was definitely going to make like once it became apparent that Trump was definitely going to steamroll his way into the, you know, into the nomination. Uh, I was like, yep, you're all idiots. Yep. You're all buying into it. You're all fall for it. He's not going to do any of the things he says he's going to do. It's going to be it's going to be Obama all over again with, you know, he may get one major thing, which is not going to turn out the way you want it to either. Like the wall may end up happening, but it's going to end up being so much worse than <laughs> promised. <laughs> I think you already kinda put a like, down payment on it already, right? I mean, I kind of knew that I, he... I read that. I read that headline, but I didn't go further, so... I think he even knew. I mean, I knew. I But I think he even knew that Mexico wasn't going to pay for the wall, but it was a great kind of campaign rally. I got that. That was fine. Whatever. Uh, if you're going to pay for a wall, might as well have the government pay for the wall. Actually, what the best thing to do is just not have a government at all. But <laughs> if you're going to have a government and you're going to build a wall, you might as well have the government build the wall instead of sitting there trying to nag another government to build a wall that they don't want to build. So, <laughs> whatever. <Yeah. laughs> um, so, you know, maybe that'll happen. I don't think anything else is going to happen. This tax reform that he's going to pass is probably going to be just another, oh, we're just going to, we're just going to cut it just a little bit, okay? But he's talking about working with Democrats now. How? Yeah. How was that? I thought that's what we were trying to get away from <laughs> for voting for Republicans. <laughs> was getting away from these terrible eight years we've had with Democrats running everything. Well, Republicans stopping everything. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. The, all this libertarian well, to... Trump stuff just didn't pan out, and it's only what? How nope. many days into it? Two two months. 40 days yeah well I, I i saw a couple of people saying something this about this on social media the other day and immediately a lot of the the trumpercasts as i like to refer to them as they uh oh it's only been two months it's like yes and it's going horribly wrong already yeah. what do you think the trajectory is gonna look well like do you see the trajectory do you think it's going to get any better than this no i mean it may it may slow down but it's already bad to start with <laughs> I mean, like Obama was spending a lot of time talking to people on the Hill for like 13 months or something like that to get Obamacare passed. Trump did what, like 17 days? And he's like, screw it. We're going to do something else. (laughs) Moving on. (laughs) Next. (laughs) Yeah. What happened to the great negotiator? (laughs) Now he's going to go negotiate with the Democrats who aren't. They're not going to do anything. They hate him. (laughs) Even if they agree with them, they're not going to be like, but you're Trump. (laughs) Well, as, as as much as I don't like to pay attention to the politics, it is it is a very interesting dynamic because, yes, the Democrats hate him, but a lot of the Republicans do, too. Yeah. So, if you know, to pay attention a little bit, it's it's got to be it's going to be fun for the next couple of years. I mean, on the whole, it's going to be horrible, horrible, horrible for the American people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But but watching it at least is going to be fun. Yeah. There is a little bit of schadenfreude. Schadenfreude. I never say that right. Schadenfreude, Freud, whatever. Uh, just enjoying this, like the left melting down and not even understanding why they had their microphone ripped away from them. And they're still continuing on the same trajectory that got that microphone ripped out of their hand in the first place. 
and they just keep doubling down, doubling down. It's like, well, they were mad at us for being violent, so let's have more violence. <laughs> Start punching more people. <laughs> you know, people that are like well, way less objectionable than Spencer. Way less objectionable. You know, just people who Republicans with a, with a red hat or libertarians with a with a with a mock <laughs> Trump hat. <laughs> It's ridiculous. Yeah, MAGA, whatever. Yeah, they. It's well, you know what it is. It, it doesn't. I mean, it, it's the the leftists, I guess, in, in this particular instance. But it's the mentality they're used to. Yeah, you know, it's 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 all it's. <laughs> it's, it's well, it's, we need we need more. If it doesn't work, more. Yeah. You know, the government didn't fix the problem. More government. Yeah. So <laughs> you know, violence didn't work. Well, we got to try more violence. We didn't use we didn't use enough violence. <laughs> I never we, thought we need of to it find that... the perfect balance of violence, and there we will. We there is our utopia. <laughs> yeah, I never, I never really thought of it. That was, it's, it's not just violence; it's just everything. Everything just if that yes. doesn't work, add more. <laughs> yes, that is the mentality. It's that's the mentality. I mean, and I, I, you know, I was like that for a very long time, so I understand it to uh, in a very intimate way. Some sometimes wish I wish I didn't know it that well, but <laughs> it, you know, that just mentality. Yep, got to do it again. Try harder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hit I, it with a bigger mallet. <laughs> yeah, you, you came from the left, right? Originally, yes. Well, what, I what, started. I. Was that? I was gonna say what what part of the left? <laughs> like where were you I, originally? I, I was, I was basically I was pretty much the epitome of the useful idiot that Rush Limbaugh always described. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, I was very prog- I mean, I was progressive in some areas, but it was mo- mainly just like you know, I hated the Republicans because that's what my dad was, and. My mom, actually, I think both my parents were, and that just, that's how it started. And you know, I fell for all the stupid propaganda, and you know, I was like, you know, the Republicans hate hate all drug addicts and all like all this stuff. Well, well, I kind of like drugs, so that they suck. Uh, Republicans hate the gays. Well, I don't have a problem with gays, so they suck. All right, so like I pretty much like everything they fed me, I bought and was just like, okay, I guess this is where I'm supposed to be, and that's just how I voted. And I spent the good portion of my, like, the first, what, decade of my adult life like that Mm. (laughs) with absolutely no clue and, uh, you know, just leftist leaning stuff uh, in in certain things. And it wasn't until I got my own place and then then started my business and then went, went to go buy a house. And that's when taxes started affecting me. And I was like, whoa. Okay, these people are idiots because they keep wanting to take more money from me to do all this stupid crap, and most of it I don't even want to do. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what started my slide the other way. But yeah, I spent a good decade plus on the left, um, hating the Republicans. Yeah, like I, I was a watermelon originally, green on the outside, red on the inside. Um, so I was like, I used to, I used to joke, at, like, and thought I was clever. Like, if I was any more than left, I'd be a socialist. Ha, ha, ha. Like, I thought that was something uh-huh. clever to say. And now I'm looking yeah. back on it cringing hard. But, you know, hey. <laughs> You're 18. You're young, dumb, and full of cum. So <laughs> yep. that, was, that was kind of – and you know, but I was really into it. Like, I was reading uh, a lot of, like, Al Franken and uh, David Brock. I actually used to read his books. Um, yeah, just, just really doubling down. Listening to Air America, <laughs> but, yeah, I did that. Yeah, I did. I did that for a while too. Yeah. <laughs> and then you kind of grow. Uh, out I wasn't. Of re- it. I, w- yeah. I wasn't. Re- I wasn't reading a lot of it. I, I, I would listen to it, and uh, you know, I would watch you know all the news and whatever, and even uh, even all the horrible. Well, there's they're all horrible, but you know, like and that's what I got my information from. I was like, okay, I'm I'm informed. I'm good to go. Yeah. <laughs> and it's kind of funny because <laughs> now I see like. A lot of my former self in Trump, <laughs> and he's a Republican. It's like you were supposed to be but he's on not. the op- you were supposed to be the person that I hated when I was a liberal. But you're actually the guy that I that probably would have liked the more liked more if you didn't if you weren't such a, a jerk about it most of the time. Like that's that's the real yeah. left's objection to him is that he's a jerk. Yeah. 
yeah, but but he, yeah, because he's not really a Republican. No. I mean, he's he was a you know, I I I keep saying this, and it just I can't I can't shake it. The the certain similarities between him and Reagan drive me up a wall mm. and make my skin crawl. And it's the it's the cult of personality. The the biggest one is this cult of personality around this lifelong entertainer. Mm-hmm. Because yeah, 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 he was go- Reagan was governor of California first, but. For the most part, the good bulk of his life, he was an actor. Mm-hmm. Trump, you know, businessman, sure. But a, he, was a, he was an entertainer, essentially, for decades now. You know, that's his public persona. And they were both he's really basically good at tasked marketing. with... Yeah, that was, a lot of that was just marketing. He's, he's a brilliant oh, yeah, marketer. But, I, I, I will... Oh, he's... No, yeah, oh, he's yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's probably... I don't... I don't, I don't <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, that's, I give him credit on that all the time. He, he is, but that's what it is. They were both basically tasked with playing a lo- role of a lifetime. Now, Reagan actually got asked directly. Yeah. Uh, Trump, I think, just <laughs> took it upon – I think Trump just took it upon himself. I mean, was this the story about John Wayne going to his house and saying, you know, we need yeah. you to do this for us, bud? <laughs> or uh, or, Gip, or you know, Gipper, whatever he said to him. And, uh, but with Trump, I think Trump just took it upon himself and was like, yeah, this is how I'll do it. Yep. I could do this. I can sell myself as a Republican. Why not? I can be the best Republican, the greatest Republican. Frankly, you love my Republicanism. Best, tremendous. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and Trump Trump had aspirations of going way back into the 80s. You can find videos of him on, like, videos of him on, like, uh, was it Oprah? And talk, <laughs> talking about how he wants to run for president. I'm just not sure when the right time is. And Yep. Yeah. yeah. And he was actually going to run in, like, the 90s or something like that. Uh, under the reform party and then he started looking around going like why is david duke here <laughs> i need to get the hell out of here uh we're gonna need some time to let this rest for a bit uh so he's been planning yeah, this for like his whole life too i'm undoubtedly yeah didn't was it was it 92 i i, I, I kind of swear i remember him trying what, thinking about getting involved in 92 but then he decided not like among other things because perot just like everybody took a liking to perot yeah. so he was just like ah oh, it's not my time this guy's gonna do it so he just backed he's he's quickly backed out before he even got into it uh you know so yeah he's yeah i i, I remember a lot of those too i've seen i've seen a lot of those clips and obviously they've been they've resurfaced but i watching them like oh i remember watching this like i remember when it happened because I remember Trump for like ever. I mean, I, the first time I remember coming aware of him is sometime in like the mid '80s. I was like eight years old the first time I was introduced to Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, I remember being a little kid and being exp- well, not of that because he was like in Home Alone and he was also in a movie that I really, really liked when I was really little, and that was Little Rascals. <laughs> he was like the dad of the rich yep. kid. Um, so I was like, you know, who was that? And my mom would used to be like, oh, that's Donald Trump. You know, he's like the richest man in the world. He really wasn't, but <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's really rich and you know, he's a really smart guy and everything. And, you know, so I, older folks actually have a good reputation of the guy. I mean, cause probably they didn't try his vodka. Uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, but I did not. Yeah. The young people hate him cause they had to have his vodka. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I just I don't know. It's it's an interesting thing, and it's going to be interesting how it plays out. I, I I it's it's looking like he may not be reelected, but you know, then again, I said that Hillary was going to be elected to begin with, so I'm out. Of, like Ben Shapiro, I'm also out of the uh, prediction market when it comes to politics right now because <laughs> there's definitely a there's definitely a, a shift in the in the paradigm, and it's in a, in a direction I don't like. No, it's 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 just it's gonna get worse. Too. I mean, in in that on that regard, it's just gonna get worse because people are, the, I don't know the level the level of animosity between the two, the, the two the the extremes on both of the yeah. you know quote unquote sides is has been ratcheted up and it's it hasn't gotten any better. I mean, since the since the ending of the Bush era through the Obama era and now into the Trump era, like it's just it's still it's get. I mean, because there wasn't as much direct physical violence. Uh, you know, up until now, right? I mean, I don't well, remember I th- as many like if all I the rem- riots, the protests, where the fights break out, right? If I, don't I remember, remember this correctly, happening. when Bush got elected, and you know how they take the walk down to the White House or whatever. Uh, I don't know if it's the White House, but they, you know how they do the little walk for like a mile or something like that. You know, they have the cars. They have all the you know the, the what is it? I can't think of anything, <laughs> but yeah. they, you know they have the cars following, and then you know had the Secret Service all around them, and the president takes yeah, the walk the perso- and waves yeah, the They had to cancel yes. that when Bush did it because, like, when he started doing it, people started throwing rocks and stuff at him, and so they basically swooped him in the car and drove off, and they didn't do the walk. 
So oh. you know, it's it's been happening back then too. You know, Antifa has been well, around uh, forever. Oh no, that I know. Yeah. I, well, they've they. I mean, didn't they start they start in Italy originally <laughs> or yeah, somewhere out a, there? Yeah, it's an Italian type thing. Yeah, but no, no. I, did, I mean, I mean that was that was. I mean that. Okay, now that you're saying that, I do remember that stuff with Bush, but and that was that was really ballsy because that hadn't happened where they're taking actual shots at like the like the president like that. Yeah. But I, I just meant more like the protest where like the not not the politicians, the you know the those extremists on either side again are actually physically getting violent with each other. It, at least it seems to be an uptick this time around yeah. with the anti fa and the alt right. Go, you know the, these type people going back and forth at each other. Uh, you know, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not thinking that there's going to be a civil war. That that's ridiculous. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> I, I, don't, I just who think who it's going to get. Yeah. Oh, of course. But they're also the same people that think of some of the some of the other insane conspiracy theories are the gospel. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I take, I take, I take with that what they say with like a bag of salt. So. <laughs> Oh, what's by the way? Did you see that uh, Alex Jones had retracted everything on his website regarding PizzaGate and issued this big long apology to uh, what's his name, the guy that runs Comet Pizza and Comet Ping Pong and all that stuff, and and now everybody's like freaking out because <laughs> you know, no, oh I, wow, I, did, I I I haven't paid attention to Alex in a while. That's well, isn't that what happened to Ben? Isn't that what happened to Ben Swan? He was talking about it, and then all of a sudden he had to shut everything down and disappeared. And I mean, supposedly he's okay, but well, I think he he was uh, taking a job somewhere else, and so he he went dark while he transferred to a new new station or whatever. Uh, it was actually he was actually getting kind of promoted, so it wasn't that. Um, oh, and he was even warning people ahead of time, like, "Don't worry, everything's fine. Don't trip. I'm just going to turn everything dark for a little bit. I'll come back mm. later." So yeah, you know, he got a promotion. Good for him. I'm happy. Uh, but no, oh, Alec, okay. the well, Alex that's... Jones thing. It really did read like, <laughs> it really did. On one hand, it seemed kind of sincere, but the 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 letter that he was reading was very like clearing all of his name. Like it was very legalese almost. Like you know, we apologize to these people and we offer them. You know, like we 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 turned all these things off long before we were even contacted by the Comet Ping Pong, and <clears throat> it was very kind of like. You're really kind of covering your bases so you don't get sued. That's what it sounded like. And ratings and well, comments sure. were disabled on that video. Wow. <laughs> I don't think I've seen anything on. No, I take that back. He, he When he did a, a debate with uh, David Duke, <laughs> he ended up taking oh. that video down and was like censoring comments. But uh, yeah. So I don't know. Like, it's, wow. Everything's getting kind of really weird. Well, you know, he's a mouthpiece what? for the establishment now, so. Yeah, I, well, he, well, see, see now, do you, do you think that's what it is? Do you think it came? Da- do you think it came down from up there? Or <laughs> yeah, well, it, it, that is just that. That is just. Well, it's fitting. I mean, with Trump. I mean, you remember what was it? When when did the Simpsons predict Trump as president? Wasn't it two uh, thousand? Was wasn't not, it like two thousand? No, 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 no. That was that cart. That episode came out after he went down the escalator and announced he was running for president. It's just that someone made a meme of it and and dated it back long before and it was oh it wasn't true see, yeah, it was fake and that became that became fake, another mandela effect fake news I, fake news i i believe i believe i i, I believe that I, I actually saw that episode and i haven't watched the simpsons in years <laughs> yeah i think there was someone else i think who was who was president uh in the episode but yeah that, that, that yeah. Whole, but you're talking about where they had the, it was an episode where they had trump going down the escalator and it was in the simpsons right uh, no, no, no. I just, I th- no, I, yeah, I thought there was one that he was, he was president or there, or there was, there were, they were showing the, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah. It's been, like I said, it's been so long since I watched the Simpsons. I can't remember anymore. Yeah, I, mean, I know there was another one where they had a, uh, where they went to New York city and there was like some brochure that he had. And it looks like it said nine 11, but it had the world trade centers on it. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, well, they have, a, they have a whole bunch of those ones. I've seen, I've seen crazy ones with that. Yeah. Uh, but no, I would, I would just, but it, yeah, but, but either way, I, what I meant was that, you know, that it's been, it's things have been getting crazier and crazier and where, you know, the, the jokes about things heading towards idiocracy, idiocracy have become more and more rampant. So it's only fitting that Alex Jones is a mouthpiece for the establishment, you know, <laughs> like that's how far we've come, ladies and gentlemen. Shut so up. Wonderful I'm world. <laughs> 
<laughs> keep all keep your hands and feet inside the car at all times and, uh, just just enjoy the ride this particular individual um yeah, I don't know. There's all sorts of crazy stuff going on on YouTube with with all those conspiracy theories, and they're all getting demonetized. Which I don't know if you have you had you have your stuff on YouTube, right? Seeds of Liberty. We do, yeah, we do, but we stopped monetizing it, uh, trying to monetize it a long time ago. Oh, really? Dave just gave Dave. Dave well, Dave, uh, Dave ran the YouTube channel, and he just he he just didn't see any results from it whatsoever, and finally just gave up. And they, uh, yeah. Because you know the the bulk of the bulk of our stuff, the bulk of our downloads come through our our podcast anyway. YouTube's just there. Uh, you know, we did it for the longest time because we were still doing video, and then once we stopped doing video, it was just a matter of well, we already have the channel, and we already have like sixty something, you know, fifty sixty something episodes up. We yeah, might as well, well just keep putting them up there. Because uh, some people do. There are people I I you know there are actually friends of mine that. You know, when they watch it, that's the first place they catch it. So yeah, I need to Whatever. dig up exactly what videos because I've been getting a lot of. Um, let's see, mail. Yeah, so I've been getting a lot of like videos demonetized, and there's like a big hubbub about it right now, because I I guess a lot of advertisers are fleeing YouTube because they're finding their ads on like Nazi stuff, on racist stuff. You know, since that's becoming a thing again. Um, and yeah. like, I think Pepsi dropped out, I think, and if Pepsi drops out, that's also KFC and, uh, Taco Bell as well. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, it's a shame. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. Um, was this one? No, 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 no. This wasn't it. But I had a lot of videos kind of demonetized because what? it included terms either in the tags or in the transcripts or whatever that were deemed not okay for advertisers um fascism i think we're, we're talking about fascism racism nazism those are the big ones that got people kind of concerned it wasn't the feminist like sjw or feminist or mm. mra stuff like that was all fine you know but it was when we were talking about nazis so i don't know hmm. not all of them well, are see. yeah Oh, well, if we had been monetizing, then we definitely would have got flagged a couple of times because those were on my tags. You know, we talked about it a bunch. Yeah. So it ended up in the tags of my shows a bunch of times. But uh, I don't know. But, but a know, lot of I, people are complaining because they have their kind of livelihoods depend on AdSense revenue, which is stupid. Like you should not have your, your whole – you, you shouldn't have your work based off of another site because when that other site goes away or – starts changing rules then you're screwed you gotta have something else you can't just do that i mean that's why like the amazing atheist is like selling t-shirts and uh books and other crap and linking to amazon and uh, you know all these other things what is it um what's the big thing that everybody advertises audible everything everything is selling audible <laughs> sleep number beds and stamps.com yep. so <laughs> we're not um I'm, I'm just selling kratom and amazon <laughs> <laughs> And and hobo, yeah. but that I'm not getting paid for that. The hobo symbols. Oh yeah, all all, yeah. all the ads I run on my all the ads I run on my show are just fee or just my um, at, most of them are ads Michael made um, or had made, <laughs> yeah. and I'm not getting paid for any of them. It's just like I let you know sell four hundred one. I'll promote that. So you know yeah. agorist hosting uh, and uh, the fee. What is it? Fija, the one. Fabi uh, is Fabi yeah. still connected to that? I don't remember. Right, he is right. Fija. Uh, I think so. Uh, I think so. Yeah. I'll ask him. Maybe, yeah. maybe that should be an ask Babby. There you go, <laughs> Babby. Yeah, are you still part of the Fiji community? Are you out yeah. there? Yeah, I tried to. Do. Yeah, it, what, what, what's, what would you be your thing? What's that? Lonely in Levittown. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but and if, if you're basing your income on some model and it starts slipping away, I don't feel bad for you. You know, like if you if your if your business model is selling records and all of a sudden the internet's invented and you're losing money like crazy, it's not my problem. If you because you well, didn't adapt, I, it's not my problem. I, I'm not going to feel bad oh, for you. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I I wouldn't either. But you know, I I I, I know what it is because uh, I've seen this. I have seen this happen to you know not not even just over the fascism thing, but it's been happening more and more ever since. 
it's it seemed again you know it may just be com- complete coincidence but a lot of things th- to me seem to happen since youtube red has become a, b- a bigger and bigger thing um all, all the problems seem to be uh becoming uh even larger and i've been seeing people losing their rev you know i've been getting kicked off and stuff like that for other things for quite a while now and it's just you know they're just gonna keep put they're gonna keep pushing people out and you know hopefully somebody will start something else but you know i don't know yeah. what are you gonna do well the, the other thing I, the other thing i was gonna say is you know I, I i do agree with you that i don't feel bad for people who don't adapt but i can i can understand like some of these people you know there, there's some people out there that don't put a lot of i mean they may, may put some time into it but they don't put like a lot of money into their channels but they're huge you know yeah. some people that go out there doing this and and when you're basically doing nothing and then all of a sudden, because of the way the system's set up, that you just have it set to monetize, you're all of a sudden raking, you're actually one of the people that's making money off of this for literally putting no effort except sticking a camera in front of your face. I can understand why you would kind of, you know, some of these people, most of these people have no business sense whatsoever. They're just like, money, all right. I don't need to do anything else. Yeah. I'm set. <laughs> That's what um... backup plan. What's a backup plan? So I understand it. You know, I would never do that. Obviously, I mean, I'm trying to. Run, I'm, you know, I have my business, but I'm still always. I'm constantly looking for other ways to try to make money, even though yeah. I've I've been pretty successful for the past decade plus. <laughs> yeah, like if, if you're gonna hustle, do it right. Don't just rely on one thing because you know nothing. Nothing is nothing is set in stone, and I I, I I remember when Maoist Rebel News, who's like a Maoist clearly, uh, like was was making all these videos complete because this this whole demonetization thing was happening before, but it wasn't as prevalent. Now that YouTube Red is is the thing, like it's it's happening a lot more often, and yeah. so. He was complaining that, like, like you know, YouTube is terrible. They're taking my money away. Like they're exploiting me. It's like. Well, first of all, you signed up for that thing. Secondly, you never transitioned while well. all the other YouTubers started, like, saw the writing on the wall and was like, all right, maybe I should start selling books. Maybe I should start selling t shirts. Maybe I should look for sponsorships. And they're the ones surviving now. All the other ones have kind of either dropped off or, you know, did something else on top of it. But, you know, I don't feel bad. <laughs> I definitely don't feel bad because of a, a mark. Uh, a Maoist, no, no less, uh, <laughs> is struggling in Canada. I'm like, well, well, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I don't feel bad for you. Your bad business model, bad, your bad business model is not my problem. <laughs> yep. Yep. You want to rely on intellectual property. You want to rely on, uh, you know, YouTube for for your stream of income. You know what? There's going to be a day where everything's going to come crashing down, and the economy is going to come crashing down any minute now. We've had in a good economy for how long? It's gonna it's gonna collapse. It's gonna come down. Or I'm not I'm not I'm okay. Let me be clear. I'm not <laughs> saying that like you know start prepping <laughs> like bad. It's one of those things where it's, we're gonna have another recession because that's what happens. You know you have a good what seven eight years of of good good economy and then you have a recession. Yeah. Uh... Well, yeah, but but has it hasn't even been that long yet. Has <laughs> the, uh, the past couple of years, have, I guess, have been I guess the past the past like was it three or four? I guess have been better, um, but not still not great, right? No, it's not. Well, I'm, I mean, not I mean, I'm not going to say that it's great. I'm not going to say that it's great. But all things considered, it's it's a very robust economy. Uh, all things considered, We're not, there wasn't a heavy oh. recession like there was in that period in 08, You know when when Obama took took an office and, and all of that but he's been growing that bubble that he's been trying to grow a bubble and that there's a bubble that exists and it's about ready to pop it's, yep. it's gonna happen well, yeah i would agree with that yeah yeah <coughs> probably i don't know and and then and then next year there's my prediction there you go yeah and i just can't wait. <laughs> i never make predictions because i don't care yeah, I, I really just can't wait for all these professional libertarians who are just shit can't well included <laughs> who rely on donations and the bubble pops and all of his followers lose their jobs or start making half of their income and then can't afford to donate anymore and you know next thing you know he's back to f- trying to figure out which ones are crumbs and which ones are math on his desk <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna be enjoying it i'm gonna be a pig and shit unfortunately molly's got like half a million dollars in bitcoin uh, so. yeah 
Uh, well, and it's probably just wishful thinking, but I really like to believe Michael's theory about that. <laughs> that, he that he just, that he, just lo he lost he lost the password. He has no <laughs> idea how to get it. He has no idea how to get into it, yeah. and that money will stay there forever. And 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 we and then we can all thanks that we can all thank Molly for his service yeah. for increasing the cost of the price of everybody else's Bitcoin for you know taking his out of circulation forever. <laughs> Thank you for your service, Molly. Yeah, well, maybe I like to believe that's true. <laughs> maybe, some, maybe someone can start working on trying to crack that uh, that that <laughs> that key. Yeah, right. <laughs> Just spend all their time. Like, look, you don't have it anymore. Might as well let me have it. <laughs> if you ain't using it, I'll cut you a couple bucks. Whatever. You didn't get Trump elected. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for that. Yeah. So yeah. Well, um, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Well, he won't go down. Well, I was gonna say, I was gonna say yeah, he's, he's he, well, if he, if he can get a hold of that money, he'll still be all right. But but Campbell already lost half his, 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 his subscribers anyway, didn't he? With the whole the thing with his ex girlfriend, he lost so, half his subscribers like three times already. <laughs> yeah, so he's he, he's probably back on that on that on the verge of that you know Crummer meth thing right now, um, trying to <laughs> dig up what what did he, what did he used to do? Some kind of IT work, I think that was his thing. I'm I'm almost positive. Yeah, it was something I'm trying like to that. remember. I remember he used to drive around yeah. like a service van in, in a lot of his videos, and you could see like digging equipment and stuff. So I don't know. He probably could. Yeah, I'm guessing he probably does goes out in the field and goes into manholes or whatever, and does you know <laughs> rewires the lines that are in the manholes or something. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Screaming at people through his PA. Spraying <laughs> 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 with <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, psycho! Time to go back to that. Well, no, but yes. that was his whole thing. Like he said that he um, that he can't uh, go back to regular work because of all of his controversial statements. That's probably even doubly true now. <laughs> you know that he's bashing black people openly, like not just like oh, yes. he's got an opinion about race realism. It's like no, he he genuinely hates black people. He's made that very clear. <laughs> you know. So I don't think I don't think he'll get back to work, and um, yeah. his, his half of his followers are going to leave him again for something else he does, and then on top of that, they're not going to have the money to donate anymore, and I'm just going to be happy well, that yeah, happens. and you know, and th and that means I'm going to have to double my efforts to get out of here because eventually he's going to have to come back home to mommy, <laughs> and I want to be as far away from that when that happens. Well, you know what? Actually, see, that's a double-edged sword, too. Like, I want to be as far away from that, but I also want to see it up close and personal, just for a little bit, <laughs> just for a little bit. Maybe take a couple of pictures of him sitting all dejected, you know, at his mom's house. And, uh, you know. <laughs> Burning flags in his, in his mom's uh, fire yeah. pit. Yeah. Going back to that again. Yeah. It seemed to work well, for him originally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Or did it well, really that is how we made or was that just all part of the Mandela effect? He didn't really burn a flag. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. I don't even remember burning. I remember shooting one. I remember that one. Oh, there, uh, yeah, there was one. <laughs> yeah, there was one, and he ended up, he got mad. I think that was why he deleted, or he blocked me from his YouTube channel. Um, but there was a video, the first one he did, where he burned a flag. And he did it in his mom's backyard in a in a fire pit. <laughs> and it was getting like melted nylon all over the, the the thing, and I commented, "Hey, your mom's backyard is pretty uh, pretty nice." <laughs> Blocked. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't having any of that. That's yeah. too funny. <laughs> but, yep. All right. Huh. So, do you got anything else? Um. No, uh, not really. No. Nope. <laughs> kind of tired. I dig it. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, it's well. It's been a. I had my kids here for the weekend, and oh, fun. Uh, they're they they're, they're, they're fine. You know, which is which is great. But I don't get a lot of sleep that when they're here, and then, you know, now I and I still I have my friend in from out of town. But now I have my my kids are gone. But now my dog just decided to start peeing all over the house again. Yeah. Uh, at you know, so that's fun. So I've been dealing with that. So it's just like, oh, has this day over yet? <laughs> yeah. All right. So then I will free you from your shackles. Of Walgreens. Sweet. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right, man. It's great to have you on again. And you can find more at you want to plug plug Hobo Symbols and your podcast. Yeah. Whatever. Plug every plug, get all the plugs. 
All the plugs. Yes, all the plugs, all the plugs. Well, yes, for the the, the bigger thing is the Freedom B and B app, which uh, can be found at hobosymbols.com. Like I said, there's a bunch of other ways to find it, but that's still the easiest one right now. And you can find all you can find the Indiegogo campaign through there. And uh, please consider donating because, uh, I, like I said, I, I'm a huge fan of this project. I would really like to see it get off the ground. Mm. And you know, the more every little bit helps. I think they even I think there's even a perk package set up as low as like two dollars. You get some kind of perk if you just donate two bucks. So, so th- they won't on, shame you like Molyneux. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah we yeah, yeah anything uh, even even a dollar is fine you know okay. that's all you want to send i don't care you don't get a park that way but hey that's yeah we don't we don't shame <laughs> awesome we will we'll we'll grovel for the dollar or two that's fine <laughs> of course <laughs> we're gonna shame people and then, then all my all my other stuff could be found at a horrible looking website called <laughs> i was just gonna say that <laughs> like, <laughs> your beautiful website seeds of liberty.com oh. Oh, it's absolutely atrocious. Uh, you know, that, I, that's all Dave. I blame Dave. I refuse to take control of that because I do so much other stuff for that god, goddamn project. I, that, uh, <laughs> you know what? I think you should just double down. Just double down and go and download a copy of like, you know, like a WYSIWYG editor from 1995. Put a whole bunch of dancing baloney and <laughs> make everything on one page. Have 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 a counter and a web ring link <laughs> and a guest yes. book. Go back to all the way to ninety five. Hey, you know. we probably should. We probably should. That is, that's actually not a, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah. man. Great talking with you again. Right. <laughs> you too, Jim. Worms. <laughs> Worms. <laughs> Worms. Are you sick of government lackeys who say you didn't build that? Are you tired of elitists like Barack Obama and Al Gore taking credit for the web while trying to take over the web? Are you disgusted by experts whose concept of the internet is that it's a series of tubes? Take back the free market of computing by encouraging software developers to adopt the BIPCOT no-gov license. The BIPCOT no-gov license allows any use or modification except by governments. Go to BIPCOT.org. That's Bravo, India, Papa, Charlie, Oscar, Tango, dot org. For some reason in, in this country, and in a bunch of Western world, it's okay to just judge. Hey, this is Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends Radio Show. Computer programmer Derek Slopey and I have created Fiend Phone. I'm using Fiend Phone right now to talk with and record one of my co-hosts in real time. Take it, Davi. Hey, this is Davi Barker, and I'm a thousand miles away from Michael, but we sound like we're in the same room. We sure do, Davi. So, Davi, please tell the nice people more about Fiend Phone. FiendPhone is free, no-gov software that opens up a global world of possibilities for collaborative, high-quality, remote voice media production, and I'm digging it. People can try FiendPhone right now at FiendPhone.com, but we're also raising money to vastly improve FiendPhone and vastly improve independent talk media worldwide. So go to FiendPhone.com to help out. Who will build the audio roads? We will, with your help. That's FiendPhone.com, F-E-E-N-P-H-O-N-E.com, Foxtrot, Echo, Echo, November, Phone.com. FiendPhone, I never knew remote audio could be this good.